and the church said amen. Hallelujah. It is again that we are so honored and privileged for this preaching moment. We are grateful for the music ministry of our church who has lifted our spirits. This morning, I would that you notice Joshua uh, chapter 1, a, a portion of verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, I will read a portion of verse number 8. These words are recorded there. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And from that portion of verse number 8, this morning I want to talk about spiritual success during a pandemic. Spiritual success during a pandemic. I think that we all would agree that while we are in the midst of a pandemic, we all have our righteous concerns. We all are affected in various ways and we daily do the best we can to survive and strive forward in this pandemic. We are concerned about how much time we spend in public and discipline ourselves to wear face coverings and wash our hands more now than ever before. So true, so true. We are concerned about our elderly. We are concerned about employment, food shortages, children, and education. Yeah, 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 yeah. If the truth be told, some of us have serious reservations about keeping doctor appointments so and going to the hospital. But there is a word from the Lord that will spiritually encourage your faith as we move forward through this pandemic. Therefore, to experience spiritual success during a pandemic, let us listen to the voice of God as he spoke to his servant Joshua. God instructed Joshua in three areas. Number one, be strong and courageous because the task ahead would not be easy. Number two, obey God's laws. And thirdly, continuously read and study the book of the law which is God's word. The question is asked, what's the reality of that today? Consider if you will, my brothers and my sisters, first of all, one must be committed to Christ. One must be committed to Christ. First Thessalonians 5 and 23 reads, I pray to God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some believers fall short of pleasing God because they are not totally committed 
to him. They insist on asserting their will over God's will. I come by to serve notice this morning that God will not be second to anyone or anything. All right, all right. Spiritual success during this pandemic depends completely. Depends, excuse me, spiritual success during this pandemic demands complete abandonment of will self and the acceptance of God's will. It is important that you understand his will makes everything work together for
Must 